Good morning, Steed. Mrs. Peel. Sir Rupert Pettigrew. Top man in the ministry responsible for the DF-118 Tamazi Pan rifle. <laughs> Murdered. Stabbed in the chest with a carving knife during the night by an unknown assassin. Mrs. Peel, your powers of deduction are astounding. Not at all. I met his cleaner on the way in. <laughs> but what I can deduce, Steed, is that you're bevied again. This is meal. Uh, Mrs. Peel. Steed, it's half past eight in the morning. The programme's only just started and you're wiring your way into a bottle of champagne. I see you've drunk one already. Excellent vintage. Chin chin. Steed, you've got a bloody cheek. It's not even your flat and you're helping yourself to the ale. I'm sick of it, Steed. Every single scene we do, we've got a drink in our hands. <laughs> I'm too pissed to fight. <laughs> well, if you call it fighting, all I do is this. <laughs> I killed to smash somebody in the gob. It's not fair, Steed. Tara King got to punch and headbutt. That's right, Mrs. Beale. You take the weight off your feet. Spread yourself decoratively over the furniture the way you always do. I don't loll around from choice, you know, Steed. It's this bloody leather cat suit. It's agony. And I'm all chafed. And as for going the lab, forget it. I mean, look at me. I'm constructed out of leather, foam rubber and steel boning. What am I? A secret agent or a three-piece suite from courts? Morning, Steed. Mm, I up another piss at. <laughs> Nasty business. Don't just ignore me, by all means. I mean, I suppose it's an everyday occurrence, a six-foot woman had to toe in black leather. Poor Pettigrew. Mrs. Peel, check the man's diary. Mm. Ah, excellent cognac, though. Yeah. Monday. Got up, went to work, came home, had me tea, watched Branwell, went to bed. <laughs> Tuesday. Got up, rang in sick, spent afternoon dressed in panties and bra in the privacy of bedroom. <laughs> Nothing unusual there, just the actions of an ordinary civil servant. <laughs> Good Lord, what's that? What does it look like? Well, it's hard and greasy. Very unpleasant, actually. Michael Portillo? Yeah, it's... <laughs> hmm. So is this where they found the body? What do you think, Mrs Peel? They'll never get that out. We tried to break down the blood albumin with a solution of cold salt water, but it wouldn't shift. You see, it's a dry stain. You could dry household ammonia, tap it on gently, and then sponge it off with cold water, Colonel. Or you could write to Bella. You know the magazine? They have a household hints page. They were jolly useful when I had water retention. Oh, oh, good. Mm. But who would want to kill Pettigrew? Any ideas, Colonel? Male. Six foot tall, early twenties, blonde, swimmer's body, possibly wearing light crust cycle shorts and Dr. Martin's. Is that what we're looking for? No, that's what I'm looking for. Assassin? No, Jehovah's Witness. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now watch this bit. This is where Steed really gets carried away with the plot. A hired assassin? No, Jehovah's Witness. They get my bloody nerves where they bang on the door at the crack of dawn. <laughs> Enough of the sex. Let's get back to the plot. This is Peel. Choice. Oh, he's 
trusty bowler, he felled Goliath. <laughs> then he did the same to Mad Max Tooth. It's all right, Mrs. Peel. We'll have you out of here in a jiffy. What do you think you're doing? I'm tired. It's Thursday. It's me fetish club night. I come every week. Oh, look what you've done. I'm going to lose my membership over this. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May. <laughs> Mrs. Peel! Oh, no, no, no. I'm not getting caught like that again, Mrs. Peel. I've got it. Fetish Club meets train spotters. How very inventive. Well, tally ho, my dear. I shall leave you to have your fun. <laughs> Mrs. Peel. <laughs> Tally ho. Hello, I'm Tara King. Tara <laughs> Mother sent me. I'm your new assistant. <laughs> so tell me, my dear Tara, what made you join the service? I enjoy being tied up. <laughs> I'm fighting. Right. Fancy a shag. 